All right, so uh, yeah, today I'm gonna talk about trying to get a snare drum sound that is uh, close to the Alex Van Halen snare drum sound, which is kind of tricky because over the years, uh, and I'm really surprised when I started listening to the different albums, how much the snare sound changes. In my head, I, I always thought it was the same kind of thing. Uh, this setup is closer to, I'd say like I'll Wait from the 1984 album or um, Loves Comes Walking In off at of 5150 or uh, there's another one that's Love off of OU812. I can't remember what it is. Starts with a cool uh, keyboard thing. Anyway, this is sort of in that range. It's not exact at all, <laughs> but um, I don't have the exact snare drum. Uh, and I don't know exactly what's happening. But this is as, uh, as close as I can try and get to it. Um, put an Emperor X on this, which is uh, an Emperor with a black dot underneath and some muffling. I'll show you some, uh, I'll cut to some video of the actual snare drum up close. All right, so uh, this is sort of a close up of what I got going on with the skin. It is a Remo Emperor X coated, which is like an Emperor with a black dot. Um, I put like three pieces of duct tape on it just to see what that'd be like. But then I got an old pair of jeans sort of cut to do that. Yeah, this is a TRS uh, Custom Drums uh, Canary Wood snare drum. Made out of canary wood with a trick strainer. And let me flip it over. Oh, I just lost, just lost my muffling, damn it. So, um, yeah, hang on, let me put this down for a sec. All right, so this is a 30 strand pure sound uh, strainer. Um, I've heard reports that he uses a 40, but I could only find a 30 at this coronavirus time. Uh, you can see the black dot underneath on the Emperor and uh, trick uh, snare strainer. These hoops are die cast. So I think if I had flange, it would be a little bit more open sounding triple flanged and these have uh, maple reinforcement hoops so yeah that's what the uh, the snare drum looks like yeah and sort of this is what it sounds like see what butt ends sound like because uh, Alex Van Halen used like tree trunks for sticks like oh, I saw them in the store I never bought them <laughs> they're gigantic they're ginormous anyway let's see if uh, butt ends makes it sound more like Van Halen
I could go for more muffling. Let me try some more muffling. Let's see. Yeah, there's not much of a difference there uh, between the amount of muffling that I, I just put, and that really changes the tone. Hmm. At any rate, I could play around with the uh, the amount of muffling and the snare wires. Um, so let me pull the muffling off and just show you where the tuning is approximately. Uh, top skin sounds like this. Slightly out of tune. And the bottom skin sounds like this. So this is a pr fairly high tuning, like looking at forums and stuff. I saw a lot of, uh, lot of suggestions that his tuning was like really low and you know, I don't know, this is six and a half by 14. I think with uh, a triple flange tube, it would be a little bit more open sound. It wouldn't be as focused. And, uh, um, but yeah, it's a, it's a very, to me, it's a very cool iconic snare drum sound. Anyway, so I'm gonna cut to uh, some studio DAW stuff to show you what I did to try and match it. I went through a, a, a lot of research trying to figure out what kind of preamp they used. Uh, the mics were like 57s, like everything. But uh, for the snare, really, like the rest of my drums don't sound anything like it. I don't have Pisces cymbals. I don't have, I don't know what he used, Rototoms, Simmons pads, Ludwig drums with single skins. I have no idea. The rest of my drums don't sound anything like The snare is close-ish, sort of. But I really like that sound, so I was trying to go for it. Because I'm bored in the time of coronavirus, so this is what I'm doing with my life. All right, so I'm going to cut to a video of uh, some DAW stuff, and uh, we'll take a look at how I sort of approached getting this sound. All right. 